1981 Toyota pickup. Pulled it out of the field, been sitting there. And yeah, she's pretty rough. I uh, got this box off of a second gen. Was a long bed, you can see. Cut it, riveted it together. Looks pretty good actually. Split rooms off of an old uh, 79 Land Cruiser. See where it overlaps there. Tailgate works. A little bit of rust. No big deal. Frame's in good shape. Buddy told me that it was really good, like original paint. And then we'll see if they can. Small hole right there. And a little bit there, but other well, the other side there's a little bit as well. Other than that, it's pretty good. Floors are kind of not great, but knockers are good somehow. <laughs> a little hole in the floor. Bunch of extra parts there. Pretty sweet. Doors are uh, <laughs> they're there. Put a hole in the fender there. R when I got it but he said the engine had been rebuilt but uh, leaked oil out of right here pretty badly so I had to pull the head do a new head gasket um, and yeah runs super strong for like sitting for uh, for that long runs good um, just pulled the tranny, the 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 fork here was just kind of floating around in there. Um, turns out there was no clips on the throw out bearing, so it was just like floating around. So I had to pull the tranny, get the little clips, and put it back together. So now it actually runs and he can drive around tranny still sounds messed up but yeah it uh you can drive it now which is cool um yeah leaks it leaks a bit of oil i think just out of the drain plug there but pretty pretty cool little truck charging for some reason so once the battery dies it dies yeah.
not going to this. Coming from the tranny. It's going worse in reverse. Gotta keep an eye on that hole meter down there. Runs good, but getting a lot of weird noises here. And it started smoking the last time I drove it. Steering even? Holy. Oh, there it is. Pretty sweet truck. Just needs a transmission. 